I've got Juan Sayens here this morning at Moodle Moot Global. Juan is the CEO of Edulabs, um, a premium certified partner in Colombia, Mexico and Ecuador. And I wanted to talk to Juan because I'm so interested in the presentation that you have this afternoon, which is called The LMS of the Future, What Students and Teachers Can Expect in the Age of Industry 4. Such an interesting topic, Juan. Can you give us a bit of insight into what you'll be talking about? Of course, Javi. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here the Global Moodle Mod after three years uh, and today we'll be talking about yeah the, the elements of the future uh, what our customers what people are expecting from an LMS so we will be talking about uh, mainly about sci-fi <laughs> educational sci-fi uh, things about artificial intelligence VR AR blockchain uh, the, the kind of things we expect to see within the next eight years in an LMS. That resonates with what Martin de Guillamas was talking about in his keynote this morning. He spent quite a bit of time talking about AI and VR. How Can you give an example of how AI would be used in um, an LMS, in Moodle perhaps, in the future? Yeah, of course. Well, uh, mm, we can learn a lot of things through an LMS. We can learn a lot of things through a, a big behind the screen, but there are certain things you cannot learn just by, by watching a video or by reading something on the screen. You, you need to, to do those kind of things with your hands, with your body, you know? So with the, with the VR and the AR or, 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 or even inside the metaverse, you can learn those kind of things. You can learn how to manipulate you know, uh, a machine, a vehicle, uh, how to perform some kind of surgeries. You can learn a lot of things with your hands mm. in a virtual environment. You, yeah. you cannot learn those kind of things behind a screen. Mm. I can imagine that will be incredibly useful in, uh, in workplaces where people are learning new skills, whether it's with machinery, as you say, or in a surgery environment for healthcare. Can you see an application in education as well, more traditional education? Yeah, of course, because finally, all the people need to learn those kind of skills and knowledge uh, in an university or a technical school. So. Uh, in the first place, they, they need to learn how to perform those kind of things. Mm, that makes a lot of sense to me. And I want to ask you about blockchain, because for those of us who aren't so technically oriented, you know, we might not understand what you mean by that. So can you unpack that for us a little bit? Well, yeah. Uh, in the last years, a lot of people are talking about blockchain. And mainly, there are people, they are talking about cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and this, the, the, those kind of things, trading stuff. But blockchain is more than that. Blockchain is the is, is the foundation of the cryptocurrencies. But blockchain can be used in every field. Uh, every every software application backed up by a database could be replicated using the using the blockchain technology. So. Mm, in education, and talking about virtual education, talking about technology for education, we can imagine a system that is backed up by a blockchain database where you can, for example, share uh, your badges, share your certifications uh, across multiple organizations, across multiple uh, systems, and it's a very reliable way to to verify your 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 badges, your certifications. It's just one example. Yeah. Of blockchain. A learner to facilitate Cases learners. Yeah. Sort of. I understand what you're saying. Well, I look forward to hearing more about it at your presentation this afternoon. But tell us quickly a little bit about Edulabs and your work. Are you focused in education or workplace learning or perhaps both? Well, 
We are a Colombian company. We have been in the e-learning business from 11 years. Uh, we are premium partners, Moodle premium partners in Colombia, Ecuador, and Mexico. We have customers all over the region, all over the Caribbean, all over the Latin American region. We are a company that keep growing year after year, doing our work with passion, with love. Hmm. <laughs> And we are proud sponsors of the Model Modu Global in Barcelona. Ah, we are so glad to be here. Excellent. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Thank you so much, Sherry.